Hi everyone! Thanks so much for joining me for story time today. My name is Lucy and I'm really excited to be here. Before we get started with our stories, let's get warmed up with a little song. Okay, ready? I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Want to dance a little? song help you get a little bit warmed up a little bit more ready for some stories okay let's get ready to say hello to each other can you put your hands up and we'll get our beat bread and butter marmalade and jam let's say hello as high as we can Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. One more time, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say. All right, very good job. Thanks for doing that with me. Can you put your hands out and flip them over and get ready to sing with me, okay? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Ah. But do not let them in. Open, shut them, open, shut them. To your shoulders, fly, fly, fly. Higher, 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 high like birds in the sky. Falling, falling, slowly fall like raindrops to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. Ready? Faster, 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 still. Faster, 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 still. Faster, 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 still. And slowly slow them down. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Great job. Okay, now 
we are ready to do stories, but before we do stories, we have to know what we're doing stories about today. So I'm going to get my story box. It is really rattly today. Can you hear that? Okay, here's the story box. Ready? What's inside the story box? The story box, the story box. What's inside the story box? Story box today. Well, I am sure that there's something in there because I heard it rattling. I hope I didn't break it. Oh, there's two things. They're very small. They were making a lot of noise for being so small. Can you see what that is? That is a tiny elephant. See his trunk there? And, oh my gosh, this one's even smaller. It is so small. It's a very tiny elephant with two big tusks. That's right. Today, we are going to do stories that have elephants in them. So, what letter does elephant start with? It's hard because it doesn't sound, it sounds like L, 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 but it actually is E. E makes that L sound in the beginning of elephants. So what else starts with E? Eggs, everything, elephants. Okay, let's sing the alphabet together on the count of three. One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me. All right. Great job singing the alphabet with me if you did that. So the first story that I have today about elephants is this one right here. Have you seen elephant? See this big elephant hiding behind the little tree? This is a story about someone who plays hide and seek with an elephant. So the elephant asks, would you like to play hide and seek? Okay, says the little boy, you hide. I must warn you, says the elephant, I'm very good at hiding. Oh, I'll try my best says the little boy. So he turns around and covers his eyes and he counts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and off the elephant goes to hide. 10, coming, ready or not. Do you think he's gonna find the elephant? Hmm, I wonder what's in that room. Where could he be? Do you see an elephant anywhere in that picture? Hiding under that blanket. Do you think that elephant's doing a good job hiding? Not under here. He looks under the bed, but what's up there on top of the bed? That elephant maybe really is good at hiding. Dad. Have you seen elephant? And his dad asks, what elephant? His dad does not notice the elephant hiding behind the TV. Maybe I'll try outside. Oh, where's the elephant hiding in that picture? He's hiding under a lampshade. can't find elephant, he says to his mom. Never mind, dear. She doesn't even notice the elephant hiding in the tool shed. Even 
though his legs are sticking out and his trunk is sticking up. <laughs> that elephant sure is good at hiding behind trees, huh? That little boy doesn't even see him. Huh. I give up. And then the elephant reaches out and taps him on the shoulder with his trunk. There you are. turtle comes along. Hey, what are you playing? Hide and seek. The turtle says, would you like to play tag? Okay. What do you think? You think a turtle's going to be good at playing tag? Are turtles known for being very fast or are they sometimes slow? I must warn you though, says the turtle. I'm very Good. The end. That is a pretty silly story about playing hide and seek with an elephant. It is hard to hide an elephant because they are very big. Okay, I have a little rhyme for us to do with elephants. See this back here? This is a spider web. Do you think elephants can fit on a spider web? We're going to see how many. Ready? One elephant went out to play out on a spider web one day. She had such enormous fun. She called for another elephant to come. Okay, can you call with me? Oh, elephant! And another one came running. Now there are... Two elephants went out to play out on a spider web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Ready to call with me? Oh, elephant! <gasps> another elephant came. Three elephants on the spider web. Three elephants went out to play out on a spider web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Ready to call with me? Oh, elephant! There's another one. Now there's four elephants. Four elephants went out to play out on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Okay, ready? Can you call with me? Oh, elephant! <laughs> There's another one! Five! There's five elephants went out to play out on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Oh, elephant! There's another one. They're gonna run out of room. One, two, three, four, five, six elephants on the spider's web. Six elephants went out to play out on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Okay, ready? Oh, elephant! Here comes another one. Oh, there's barely any room. So now how many elephants are here? Seven. I don't know if we can fit any more. Let's see. Seven elephants went out to play out on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They called for another elephant to come. Oh, elephant. 
Oh, elephant! I don't think there are any more coming. Should we call one more time? Oh, elephant! I think that that's all that's gonna fit on the spider web today. The end. Okay, I have another story to tell you about an elephant. That's right. So you might know that elephants have excellent memories. They're known for it. They are known for never forgetting anything. They remember everything that they've ever done, anyone that they've ever met, every food they've ever tasted, everything except for this elephant. This elephant named Henry was actually unusually a very forgetful elephant. He couldn't remember anything. I can't remember anything. He didn't know what he was supposed to do every day, where he was supposed to put his things, who he had made plans with. He just could never remember. I can never remember. <sighs> so Henry had a best friend named Sally and Sally knew that Henry couldn't remember anything. And Sally loved Henry. She really did, even though he couldn't remember anything and he was forgetful. In fact, she was such a good friend that she helped him remember things all the time. Sally helps me remember. And she was the smartest elephant that Henry knew. So that was really good that she was around to help him never forget what he had to do. And if she didn't remind him of things, plans he had, people he was gonna see, he might forget and never do them. So Sally was really the best kind of friend. Well, Sally's birthday was coming up and she reminded Henry that they were going to do something very special to celebrate her birthday. And she reminded him a month before, she reminded him a week before, she reminded him a day before, so she really thought all this reminding, maybe, maybe if she kept reminding him right up until his birthday, her birthday, he wouldn't forget. And Henry could tell this was really important to Sally. Birthdays are a big deal. So he thought, what can I do not to forget Sally's birthday? Hmm, what can I do? Hmm, I have an idea. So what Henry did is he tied a ribbon around his trunk, just like this. Now I'll never forget, he thought. It was hard for him to tie it with his big elephant paws, feet. Okay. With this ribbon on, I will definitely remember what I'm supposed to remember, thought Henry. And with this brilliant idea in his head, he went to bed. <sighs> well, when Henry woke up the next morning, he saw the ribbon on his trunk and he was excited. He said, oh, oh, I know I put this ribbon here on my trunk. So I would not forget. And I remember that I put the ribbon on my trunk so I would not forget. But I can't remember what I wasn't going to forget. <sighs> Henry didn't know why he'd tied that ribbon on there. He knew it was a reminder, but he didn't know for what. <gasps> I know, thought Henry. I'll go ask Sally. She's the smartest elephant I know. So 
Henry went off with the ribbon still tied around his trunk to ask his best, smartest friend, Sally, why he had a ribbon on his trunk. Well, he got to Sally's house and he knocked on the door, tap, 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 and Sally opened it up. And before Henry could say anything, Sally said, oh, Henry, you remembered my birthday and you even got dressed up. The end. Okay, it is time for us to do another little song. So you can get your thumbs up like this. Ready? Last night and the night before, a lemon and a pickle came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let them in and they threw me in the garbage bin. Last night and the night before, a chocolate chip came knocking at my door. I ran downstairs to let it in and it threw me in the cookie tin. Huh? Last night and the night before, an elephant came knocking at my door. I didn't go down to let her in. I fell asleep with a great big grin. Okay, I have one more story about an elephant or with an elephant in it to tell you today. This one is called, Oh No! Frog fell into a deep, deep hole. Ribbit, oops. Ribbit, oops. Frog fell into a deep, deep hole. Ribbit, oops. Frog fell into such a deep hole that he couldn't get out to save his soul. Crooked frog, help, help. I can't get out. Oh no! Mouse came along, but what could she do? The beak, the beak. Mouse came to help, but what could she do? The beak. Mouse was so small, what could she do? She tried reaching down. And she fell in too. Squeaked mouse, we're trapped, we can't get out. Oh no. Loris, there's Loris up there, inched down from her banyan tree, so slow, so slow. Loris inched down from her banyan tree, so slow. Loris inched down from that high up tree. Then her allergy to cats made her achoo, sneeze. Oh no, I think she let go. Sniffled Loris, bless me, we can't get out. Oh no. Now they're all in the hole. Sun Bear lowered a whopping branch. Grab on, grab on. Sun Bear lowered a whopping branch. Grab on. Sun Bear lowered that big, big branch, but the weight of those critters, oh, he teetered and he tottered. Crashed, grumbled Sun Bear. Bad luck. We can't get out. Oh no. Monkey swung by on a kudzu vine. Wee ha! Wee ha! Monkey swung by on his kudzu vine. Wee ha! He was having such fun on his kudzu vine. 
He didn't see that tree in time. Grown monkey. I think he crashed right into it. Ouch. Oh, we can't get out. Oh, no. Now. Uh-oh. Tiger slunk over and licked his lips. Slop, slurp. Slop, slurp. Tiger slunk over and licked his lips. What does Tiger see down there? <gasps> Tiger narrowed his eyes and licked his teeth. He smiled at the sight of that tasty feast. Drawl, Tiger, I'm here to help you out. Oh no. Then the ground bumble rumbled and began to shake. Ba-boom, ba-boom. The ground bumble rumbled and began to quake. Ba-boom. The ground bumble rumbled and quake, shake, quaked. And look who came to help them escape. Who do you think it could be who would make the ground shake like that? <gasps> Whoopee, who is it? It's an elephant. Hooray! Oh, look who falls into the hole. Oh no! That's the tiger. Tiger slipped right in there when the other ones got rescued. Tiger fell into the deep, deep hole. Growl, growl. Tiger fell in the deep, deep hole. Growl. Tiger fell into such a deep hole, he couldn't jump out to save his soul. Well, Tiger, please, please won't you help me out? What do you think? Oh, no. And they all ride off on the elephant's back. The end. Okay, so we're finished with stories. It's time to say goodbye. If you want, you can get up and dance a little bit and you can dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. All right, let's stomp like an elephant. Stomp any way you want to. Stomp any way you please. But stop when I say please. Okay, frozen friends, what should we do now? Wiggle? Wanna wiggle? Wiggle any way you want to. Wiggle any way you please. Wiggle any way you want to. But stop when I say please. Okay, let's go ahead and dance one more time. A little bit faster. Dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Okay, good job. Thanks so much for listening to my stories today. It's time to wiggle, wiggle fingers way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all. Good 